We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. Yeah, have fun. Hey, Em. Remind me about that party again. And adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. Would you like to work closer to home, save money on gas, and be rewarded for your hard work and attendance? Then Belicio Foods is looking for you. That's right, Belicio Foods is now hiring for multiple positions and shifts with great employee benefits, an on-site health clinic, competitive wages, and advancement opportunities. Belicio Foods is a company that truly values their employees. Apply online at Beliciofoods.com slash careers. Well, hey everyone and welcome to this year's Jackson County Fair and we are here on the Junior Fair grounds, which is at uh, the one end of the fairgrounds and then maybe we'll head up here in a little bit and see if we can't uh, get some of the rides and things like that to show you as well. But um, first off, we're going to spend some time here walking around the Junior Fairgrounds and we're going to see if we can find some kids and maybe some animals to interview. It's always a lot of fun. And don't forget, if you are coming out to this year's Junior uh, Fair or Jackson County Fair, um, admission $10 and that includes your rides and all of the entertainment. Um, so you just can't beat that. So let's head on down to the bar barns and see if we can find some fun people and animals to interview. Yep. Okay, well we've walked down to the horse barn and we found two beautiful girls and we have Miss Molly here is the horse, but what is your name? Madison Toes. And Madison, you were telling me that Molly here is very special because she is a contest horse, but also she's she's gated. And so I was going to have you explain that to our viewers, if you would. So first off, the contest, um, you got kind of canceled last night, yeah. but, but we're going to go back into it tonight. So tell everyone about the contest, because I, I think it confuses people. Um, so it's basically barrel racing and like pole bending and stuff like that, but where she's gated, it's... It doesn't really count, I guess, because most time only quarter horses can do it. Mm -hmm. Because I don't know why, but that's just how it is. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. But yeah. So now, Molly, um, Molly, you're showing us your wrong end, sweetie. Yeah. There we go. Show us your pretty face. Um, hi, sweetie. There she is. And so Molly here is. Um, going to perform tonight and um so you said you're kind of doing this contest stuff for fun huh yeah pretty much it's <laughs> she's uh just we haven't really done it before but we're just kind of winging it i guess okay i like winging it that sounds good now what kind of horse is molly uh she's a tennessee walker and we got her like three years ago and she was my dad's horse and then i stole her from him Ah, oh, you stole them. I, I stole her. I like that. I like the way you think. All right, so tell us what you had to do to get Molly ready for the fair. I see she has some shoes on her feet. Yeah, so we had to get her fairy out, and she had to get um, shoes uh, because sometimes it messes up her gait if she doesn't have them. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? She's I'm sorry. <laughs> and um, I have to give her a bath and stuff because of where she has white socks, it gets really, really dirty, and she has a whole bunch of white spots on her. And I like to braid, him ta braid her tail and mane so it has a little bit of wave to it and doesn't get as dirty. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, what does Molly eat? Um, grass, hay, <laughs> grain, and pretty much anything because she's weird about that stuff, I guess. Um, I, well, there's a shaved ice booth right there. Does she eat that too? Actually, yes. Yes, she will. <laughs> it's, I, I actually gave her some yesterday. <laughs> she was eating mine. <laughs> it's nice and cool. I don't blame her at all. Yeah. All right. And uh, what 4-H club are you in? Barnyard Rascals. And how many years have you been in 4-H? Like three or four, I think. Yeah, pretty much. Last, I think. And do you have any other projects? Um, usually I show cow, cows <laughs> and lambs and things like that. But this year I just did horses because we were a little late on getting cows and stuff. So Gotcha. Okay. Well, Miss Molly here is absolutely gorgeous, and we want to thank you for talking with us. And you, uh, best of luck to you in the show. Thank you. 
All right, let's head on down the barn area and see who else we can chat with. All right, so we have moved down to the chicken barn, and I am here with... Jasmine Durham. And Jasmine, you are holding your chicken. So first off, what 4-H club are you in? Irish Hollow Kids. Okay, and what school do you go to? Jackson Middle School. Okay, very good. And Jasmine, tell us about your chicken here. Is this a girl chicken or a boy chicken? Boy. How do you know it's a boy? Uh, right here, it's a... It's a rooster, so the other ones, they don't have, like, big old Oh, he's got that thing. Yes, it's a comb. Then these are, like, the waddles. He's got waddles and a comb. That's how we know. The grilled chickens don't really have waddles, so it's really easy to tell, and they're more lighter. Aha, that makes total sense. So tell us, have you shown your chicken yet? No. And that'll be later on in the week, right? Yes. Okay, so tell us, what is his name? It doesn't have a name yet. Do you want to name it? We should name it. I think his name... What do you think his name should be? Um, let's see. How about we name him Pete the Chicken? Pete the Chickens? Yeah. That's a good name. All right, Pete the Chicken it is. I don't know where that came from, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> All right, so tell us what you have to do to get a chicken ready for the fair. How long have you had it? Uh, I've did it for a year now. It's going to be two years this year. Okay. I have to wash it and then clean its uh, bedding out and feed it and weigh it, like get it weighed before I feed it. Now, how in the heck do you uh, get your chicken this tame that you can hold on to him to Pete? I hold it by its wings and by its like back feet so it can't really move its wings or it can break the wing. Okay. Now, you have had him for a long time, right? Yeah. And then, like, since he was a little baby chicken? Yes. Well, very good. So what does he eat? He eats... I kind of forget, but, like, it's, um... It says it on one of the things, but... It says chicken food, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we'll go with chicken food. All right, so tell us what you have to do to um, show Pete um, coming up this week. I have to flip it upside down. Can you do that? Yeah. I mean, she says it's easy. No problem. See, she's not scared. That's terrifying to me. And it poops, so. but and he pooped. All right. Oh, God, he did, didn't he? Yeah. All over well, you. Right, okay. Oh, I'm so sorry. Pete, I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> All right. We can. So that's the wings. They check the wings to make sure they're not broken. Oh, because we can't have broken wings. That would not be good for Pete. Nope. I had broken wings last year. We don't like that. And we don't like that Pete pooped. No. Pete pooped. Pete pooped. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Pete, thank you for talking with us and Jasmine, and we appreciate you so much. I hope you have another shirt. I'm so sorry I got you dirty. I probably do. Okay. That will be good. And best of luck to you and Pete. Thank you. All right. You better get back to, to your cage, buddy, so you can chill out. Can I pet him? Bye, Pete. Thank you for hanging with us today. <laughs> well, we have made it over to the goat barn, and who am I talking with? Uh, Jackson. Jackson? Is that what you said? Yeah. Sorry, it's loud over here. <laughs> and this is a... Now, sometimes I get confused, and I think sheep or goats. Is this a goat or a sheep? It's a goat. Okay. It's a goat, and he just sneezed, didn't he? Yeah. And tooted. Did he toot? I don't know. Okay. All right. So, well, it's better than what the chicken just did, but we won't talk about that. So, Jackson, tell me what your goat's name is. Uh, my goat's name is Larry. Larry. And, okay, so the goat show is actually today. So you have Larry here on this thingy-mabobber, and you're getting him ready for the show, right? Yeah. Okay, tell me what you have to do to get Larry ready for the show. It looks like you gave him a haircut. Uh, yeah. Did you do that? No. Who did? My mom. Moms are good at that, aren't they? Yeah. So tell me, what when you go in the show arena, what do you do to show Larry? Um, we have to walk around in a circle and hold this train up um, around his neck or jaw. And we walk him around, then um, we sh uh, brace him, and we hold his head up. Okay, and what is the judge looking for when you're when you're in the show arena? I don't know. He wants to make sure Larry looks good, doesn't he? Yeah. So did you, um, 
how do you keep Larry so white? He is a, like basically all white. That would be hard. We wash him. What do you wash him with? I don't know. What? Purple shampoo. Purple shampoo. So purple shampoo turns him white, right? Uh, yeah, and he, it makes him more brighter. That makes sense. So now, um, when, uh, later on in the week you'll have to sell Larry, will you be sad about that? Mm, yeah. Aw, I'm sorry. But that's okay. That's part of it, isn't it? Yeah. All right, so what 4-H club are you in? Uh, Country Classics. All right, and you are um, how old? How many years have you been in 4-H? Uh, this is my second year. Wait, no. Uh, yeah, it's my second year doing goats. Okay, do you have any other projects? Uh, no. No, so just Larry this year? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, thank you so much for talking with us. And um, can I give Larry a pet? Yeah. Can I give him hugs and kisses? No. <laughs> okay. We'll just give him pets then. He's very soft. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for talking with us. We really appreciate you. You're welcome. All right. <laughs> Well, we have moved over here because this is awesome. We found a bunch of clover buds, and we also found our good friend Melody Meldick. Yeah. And Melody is here being very, very brave because she is washing like a million chickens. So um, how are you doing here? Uh, well, we're wet <laughs> and soapy, and I have lots of little helpers, so it makes me smile. They are adorable. Can everybody tell me your names? Jackson. I know you. You were just on the show, weren't you? What's your name? Bowen. Bowen, and what's your name? Bo Bowen. B Bowen. Yeah. Natalie. Natalie. Riggs. Riggs, and what's your name? Yeager. Yeager? Yeager. Sailor. Sailor. Sailor, gotcha. Come here. He's not a clover bud, but what's your name? Andy. All right, so Andy's here. Oh, Jen's here, come over. Yay, we just got the whole family here. Um, so, Jen, we're going to talk to you in just a minute about your bunnies. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, that's so good. All right, so, but we are going to talk for a minute about chickens. Can you guys tell me how in the world, what you're doing here and how you wash chickens? Because, well, we just interviewed a chicken. There was an unfortunate pooping accident. Um, luckily, not on me, but on the poor 4 h -er. So, anyway, um, so that chicken's going to need a bath. So, here yeah. we are. Um, so, what do we do to wash these chickens? And they're just, like, chilling out in the grass, yeah. right? Chilling out. They're actually too big to fly. So, they're not going to go anywhere. Oh. They're about eight, seven to eight pounds each. Okay. So, they're not going anywhere. Um, but we start with this one. This one. Anybody want to help me? This one's nice and dirty because he's been sitting in his poop for a couple days. Yeah. So who wants to help me? Jackson? Me. Bo? Me. You want to help me? me. All right, we're gonna, okay. We're going to. Okay, so we're going to. Put him over here in this water. And it's just like with soapy water? Uh, yep. I just used Dawn. Okay. And then I put a little of this purple soap uh -huh. on them to make their feathers nice and white. Okay. And we just drench them down. Everybody want to help me drench them down? Me. You want to help me? Here, Sailor. Go ahead, drench him down, get him wet. Woo! <laughs> yeah. You have good helpers though. We do have good helpers. All right. Are they like dogs, they won't shake if you keep your hand on them? So yes, they'll keep them calm and if you rub their calm in their little thing here, okay, it keeps them calm down. Gotcha. And they'll actually like just go to sleep. See, kind of, okay. Well now you know something every day. Now you're like a chicken whisperer, you put them to sleep. Yep. Uh, well, I learned that from all the other chicken whispers here because there are way better chicken whispers here than me. Lori Wills <laughs> is amazing. She's taught me everything about chickens and Andy. So where'd he go? There he is. <laughs> well, now, Melody, while, you're, while we're talking about this chicken, tell everybody about your involvement with 4-H. I've been involved in 4-H here in Jackson County about 24 years. Mm -hmm. uh, I have children that's been here for that long, so I'm old. Uh, I've been a member of Livestock Committee for about 15 years, I believe, 16 years, um, and an advisor for about eight. I'm no longer an advisor, but I was an advisor for about eight years. 
and just helping all the kids, trying to make them succeed. Isn't that the whole point? You know, we were just talking about that this morning, how wonderful 4-H is because every kid becomes every parent's kid, like, oh, yeah. you know? I have, all these kids are mine, and I want them all to succeed and win and, and lose and be happy about it. Yeah. Be successful and learn how the adversity my kids can tell you I talk about adversity a lot. Yeah. Things happen and we just deal with it in the most positive way that we can. You know, and that's why 4-H can be very humbling. It can be, you know, make you the happiest of happy and the saddest of the sad and you've got to learn how to deal with all of it. You do. Uh, my son, Jesse, probably about 12 years ago brought the best hog that he's ever had. Uh -huh. He saved up his money, bought the best that he could buy and brought it to fair. The day we brought it in, my other son AJ's hog bit it, and it opened it up, and he couldn't bring it his senior year. It was his last year, his last project. Oh, no. Again, though, adversity. We yeah. learn from it. We can't always win. No matter how hard we work, we can't always win. So, And I think that shows them something, teaches them responsibility, teaches them that things don't always go their way. And we start from very young and raise them up. She's been here every year with us. They were born here. Yes. I mean, <laughs> I've had them all here, so. You know, and um, can you just explain quickly, like, um, this one here is a clover bud. Can you explain what that is? So a clover bud is before you can show animals, uh, five to eight. Mm -hmm. And we just get them involved. We let them help the older kids with their projects. We let them, they have games. We set up games throughout the fair for them. We have different events for them. And we actually let them show. There's actually a show that they can go in, oh, an cool. open show in different animals, and we let them run around the rink with the animals. That's awesome. Just get some, like, kind of a taste of what the fair is without actually competing, because they are pretty young. They are young, but it teaches them already what they want to do, what kind of animals they might want to start with, um, what animals they can handle. Andy, your chickens are running away. <laughs> <laughs> Runaway chickens, look out. <laughs> They're not running too fast. No, he can catch them. He's pretty good. <laughs> well, very good, Melody. Thank you so much for talking with us and showing us how to wash a chicken because I never knew about that. And that makes total <laughs> sense now. And I see Jen is standing over here, and yeah. she evidently doesn't like chickens very much. But we're going to grab Jen and see if she will talk to us about her grand champion rabbits. Is that cool? Yes. Can we go see one? Of course. All right, we're going to head on over and check out these bunnies. All right, so we have moved down to the to, down to the bunny barn, but this is actually the row of champions, and we happened to snag our good friend Jen here with her grand champion bunny, and then what's your name? Haley Ross. Haley with her reserve champion bunny. Isn't that crazy? Congratulations, you two. Thank you. Okay, so. Here's the deal. I was talking with Jen off the air, and she was saying that she knew that her bunnies were good, but she didn't know that they were that good, I think was what you said. Did you know your bunnies were reserve champion? No. <laughs> so when you go to pick out bunnies, do you get to pick out the bunny that you want, or is it just given to you? How does that work? So with mine, um, Griffith Farms, I went there, and I they already had a set for me. Um, and they just gave them to me. But anybody else, I think, they just got to pick. They put the rabbits outside in cages, and someone said, oh, I want those ones. So, so they already kind of had these ones picked for me. Okay. Um, but I didn't know this was going to, how my <laughs> week was going to go. That is so good. And what about Reserve Champion? How did you find your bunnies? They were also, like, set aside for me. The guy that I got them from, a lot of people get theirs from him, and he just picked a set and gave them to me. Well, very good. Uh, I think I'd be going back the next year to the same people. Yeah. So, all right. I know nothing about bunnies other than they are super duper cute and they bring you stuff on Easter. So tell us what what is the judge looking for that makes this a grand and reserve champion bunny? So the judge normally looks for like how like, see how it like jumps like that? So the muscle tenses up. So he, they want to like feel that and then like the rollback when they do that to see how good it is. Um, they look at basically the whole entire bunny, um, but mainly just here. Okay. And what about yours? What makes it special? He said he liked the firmness of the loin. Okay. Where's the loin? Down the middle of his back. Okay, very good. And um, how do you keep your bunnies so white? 
cornstarch. Oh, now you know. Um, I have a hut. Now, wait, now we have a, a bunny feud going on. <laughs> I have a hutch, and it's, like, this far off the ground, and, like, when they pee or poop, like, the pee splashes back up, and... And, like, sometimes it turns them yellow, like their bottom of their feet yellow. So mine has been white ever since I got them. We're going to put that bunny back. That bunny's mad. We'll get the, we'll get the one that's uh, a little more uh, calm. Yeah, this is so. my good bunny. She, she's a doe. Uh, she's very nice. Um, she doesn't bite. Bunnies bite? Yes. It's oh. not hard. It's just, like, it's a little nibble. I'd rather not find that out. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay, so we got another bunny out. Now, how do you keep them calm? Like, how do you get them so tame? Like, covering their eyes so they can't see what's around them. Uh -huh. And um, so I am told that you have to learn how to sex a rabbit. Is that true? Yes. So what? how do you do that? Um, so you have to paralyze it. Not really. It's just what it's called. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't hurt them. They obviously can't feel it. But it doesn't hurt them like at all. Um, so you basically you just grab like a big chunk of skin right here and you flip them over, and you have to take the tail down and then you'll see if it's a doe or a buck. Uh huh. Because they kind of just all look alike, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> well, very good. So, what did you do special to feed your bunnies before the fair? Um, my mom went to Dollar General and got a like a cereal bowl, and we just filled it up with feed every single day, twice a day, and they got huge. My third one was seven pounds. Wow. Yeah. What's, what's your secret? I put oats and sunflower seeds and, like, muscle builder in their food. Aha. Uh -huh. That's where we got that big loin from, right? <laughs> All right. Well, girls, um, tell everybody what 4-H clubs you're in or FFA or what are you in? Um, the, my grand champion pin is Franklin Guys and Gals 4-H Club, and then my other pin is Oak Hill FFA. I'm in Barn Bunch. All right, well, how many years have you guys been in 4-H? Nine. A few, huh? My whole life. All of it, all the years. All of it, yeah. <laughs> well, very good. Thank you girls so much for talking with us. Congratulations on your Grand and Reserve bunnies. That's so great. And you guys are cousins, which yeah. makes it even more special. Very cool. All right, and I think we have some royalty in the, in the wings, so let's go talk to them. Hi. All right, well, we were over in the Grand Champion Row, and guess who we found? Our royalty of this year's Jackson County Fair. So once again, and James is getting attacked by a wasp as we speak, so if this thing goes awry, just please um, forgive us. But tell everybody who you are. I know that they met you on the show the other day. Hi, my name is Ivy Gentry. I'm the 2022 Jackson County Fair second attendant. All right, and... My name is Olivia Moore, and I'm the 2022 Jackson County Fair first attendant. My name is Jenna Lewis, and we are now officially the Jackson 2022 royalty, and I'm your Jackson County Fair 2022 queen. All right, well, thank you for talking with us, girls. You all look very, very fresh, like you've had showers and all of that stuff. So what have you been doing so far at the fair this year? Um, I've been very busy walking my steer and keeping him clean. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Got to keep him clean, right? Yep. <laughs> All right. What about you girls? Um, I know that you have to work some of the shows and things. So this is the first show I've got to work because yesterday I actually showed my rabbits. I placed sixth overall. Um, but today's been a lot of thank you. Today's been a lot of fun working the sheep show so far. <laughs> I got here not too long ago. I already tried some of the lemonade here. I've been told I've had one a day, so got to keep that going. <laughs> Why just one a day? Sugar content? Uh, just because I felt like it. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, yesterday we worked the turkey and rabbit show where we got to give Liv her prize. So proud of her. And then we have the rest of the week cut out for us with the rodeo tonight. And then we went to the kids moving along and saw Batman yesterday. <laughs> Did you get to ride in the Batmobile? Sadly, no. I really wanted to, but it actually worked. Like, I was surprised because the Batmobile actually, like, drove away. Now, that's some pretty cool stuff. I know. I like it. All right, so you've been here for a couple of days now. What has been your favorite part of the fair so far? Come on. 
Um, honestly, I'm really enjoying working the Lamb Show so far. The Lamb Show is probably my favorite show of the week. And what do you like about that? I don't know. I think I like watching people try to show their animal without any lead at all. <laughs> right? I think that's very entertaining. Well, and it's like I'm. I want to find a. I want to find a turkey. I want someone I to. I showed my turkey yesterday. I want you to. Will you take me and show me how to show your turkey? I can take you to my turkey. Yes. We're gonna go see her turkey because that's all I've been talking about. You can ask James. What you did to me yesterday. Look at my arms. Okay, maybe I don't want us to go see your turkey. My one's really nice. But my other one's mean. Can we get the nice one out? Yes. Okay. She got Ivy. Overall. Oh well, very good. All right. So girls, um, what has been your favorite part of the fair so far? Uh, my favorite part of the fair so far is definitely was the crowning. Well, we went to the tea earlier that day and then we got crowned. And I think that was a great experience because I got to get the encore at these lovely ladies. Um, yesterday, I actually won a hula hoop contest. <laughs> and I was very happy about that because I get a free stuffed animal once I go claim it. I don't know where I claim it, but I get one. So you get a free stuffed animal? Yes. But you don't know where to get it, though? No idea. I that have, like, a card that says, like, one free stuffed animal from Shannon. And I just have to go somewhere and give it to them. We need to just... So should we just walk around the fairgrounds and ask everybody if they're Shannon? Probably. <laughs> Are you Shannon? <laughs> Do you have a stuffed animal for me? <laughs> All right, so girls, what, a, um, what are you looking forward the most to this week? I'm looking forward to the sale, but I'm also dreading it at the same time. But I love seeing everyone sell their animals. Makes sense. That's kind of the whole point, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Um, I'm looking forward to the sale because I know a lot of kids are excited to see how much they're going to get for their animal for all their hard work. But I'm also excited for the rodeo tonight because I love that kind of stuff and also the motocross on Friday or Saturday. It's one of those days, but I'm it's excited Friday. for that. Yeah. I think that um, you guys should have to participate in the rodeo. I wish. I, I know, wish. right? That'd be so cool. Me I too. Really I don't really like horses, but like, I, yeah. I ride a bull. A bull? I would too. Totally. I definitely would. I don't All right, like, Ivy and I I'm are in. Scared off of them. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm most excited just to be able to like walk around and represent Jackson County Fair with these girls and our little mister. Um, I think it's a great experience to be able to just let people know how great the fair is. That's my thing I'm very excited for. Love that. Well, thank you girls for taking time to talk with us. You guys got to get back to the show, I know. So we will, and James is still getting attacked by a wasp. So we're going to head on down and uh, can we see, go see your turkey? Yes, I'm actually done with the show. So okay, we're going to go see a turkey. <laughs> thank you. All right, girls, so we got everybody over here to man this turkey. Okay, number one, tell us about this turkey. Like, he's just chilling right here. He's a good boy. His name is Dale. He is 43 pounds. He's huge. He is a big boy. And you said you got third overall with Dale. Third overall. This is my first year showing turkeys. Good job. I think that you are a turkey uh, connoisseur. I would not say so. <laughs> so how did you get Dale so calm? Like, she literally just walked him out here just with this little cane thing, and um, he just walked right with you. Yeah, they're actually pretty chill. Like, you'd think they'd be crazy. My, my other one's very mean, but he, Dale's pretty nice. Well, very good. So what do you have to do to show Dale? Because I know turkeys are relatively new at the fair. They are. Um, for showmanship, you pretty much you crouch down like this. Like this is showmanship, what I'm doing kind of right now. And um, in the market, you actually have to flip them. We're not going to ask you to do that. No, it's very, it's very hard, and it's a mess. It's a mess. But yeah. Now, Dale, don't you run off? So he was um, actually funny because he was showing off when he was walking out here. He was. He's a show off. He, he is. Like, he's like, look at me how handsome I am. Um, so what he was doing was flipping all his, like, feathers yeah, out. It's actually really cool because their heads, it, like, when they're not showing off, it's completely gray. Okay. And then it'll turn, like, blood red and blue, and it's really pretty. Aha. Uh -huh. So they, they get all sassy. Yeah. They are very. They have a lot of personality. <laughs> so are you going to be sad to, to sell Dale? Not really. <laughs> it hasn't been my favorite project. I like cattle more, but it's been a good experience. Well, very good. I think this is amazing. So what do turkeys eat? They eat just like a crumble feed. It's just, it's a 28% protein, but it's just a crumble feed that's complete with all the, everything they need. 
Gotcha. Well, very good. Well, thank you for bringing Dale out and um, showing us. I cannot believe how big he is. No, he's huge. <laughs> All right. Well, you get him back in so he can get cool under the fan. And uh, best of luck to you girls at the rest of the fair. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thanks for talking with us again. My favorite part of 4-H is influencing the younger kids and just showing what agriculture is about. My favorite part of 4-H is show day and hanging out with my friends. My favorite part of 4-H is making memories and probably bonding with everyone around me. My favorite part about 4-H is being here for the kids, showing them you're doing your stuff and you're helping them too. That's all it counts. Be active. My favorite part of 4-H is taking animals. My favorite thing about 4-H is definitely the people that I've met along the way and the relationships that I've built. It's definitely something that will stick with me for the rest of my life. Anytime that I need something from anyone, they're there at the drop of a hat with no questions asked. My favorite part of 4-H is being able to take care of the animals and having quality time with the animals and seeing all my friends and family here at the, the barns and stuff. My favorite part of 4-H is working hard with my animal to make money so I can pull a little bit part of it out now and like buy stuff. I don't know what I'm gonna buy though. And the rest of it, the main part of it, is gonna go into my savings account until the future, what the future brings to me. All right, here. so I'm here with Chris Walls. Uh, he's one of your behind the scenes guys here, making sure, like I said this morning, he was out making sure the stage was all in good shape for the sound folks as they start to set up. Um, Chris, I know one of the things when we interviewed earlier before the fair started, you said you were looking forward to this micro wrestling. You were out here last night, I saw a picture of you on the stage. Talk about your experience out here. Last night was probably our biggest crowd so far this year last night and the folks that come in with the micro wrestling crew couldn't have asked for any better folks they come in i mean enjoyable to, enjoyable to work with they got in they got their ring set up they come out on the midway talk to people i mean it was just a great atmosphere last night that's great it looked like you didn't have an empty seat in the house and i know before uh, the fair started you were selling ringside seats so how did that go yep we sold uh, 96 of the 100 and we gave uh, Matt in the morning show four tickets to give away to come. So we sold all those uh, tickets, which right. helped out with the uh, the cost of the event. Right, all right. And those folks come all the way up from Pigeon Forge to put this show on. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. go ahead. Actually, they rolled in from uh, Franklin, Indiana okay. yesterday afternoon. They're on their tour right now. Um, he told me that um, they was driving back last night had to drop two members off to uh, the Tri-State Jaeger Airport to uh, fly out to New Jersey while he took the other cast on down to Pigeon Forge last night. Oh wow, so they're making the rounds then. Yes. Looked yes. like there was a very well attended event and uh, looked like there was a lot of folks that enjoyed it. I even seen uh, Jack County Sheriff Ted Frazier uh, get his, him and his crew get his picture with them. I think they were providing security. Yes, they they provided security. They, we had we've had no issues of, uh, last night at all. I mean, it was just a great atmosphere last night. What's up? This is your show with the Micro Wrestlers, and we will be at Jackson County Fair July 20. Get your tickets now. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. I feel like they're way scarier than we would be. <laughs> yeah. So micro wrestling happened last night at the fair and um, heard through the grapevine, a la one of the fair board members sitting over here, that it was one of the biggest nights ever at the fair. Like, that's amazing. That is awesome. So thank you to everybody that came out and enjoyed the fair yesterday. And, and last now night. we know that you exist. You need to come tonight, too. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> we just added wrestling to our show. We so. did. You These two no go idea. at it. <laughs> oh, it is unbelievable. It's like Baldy and Baldy over there. <laughs> <laughs> We've been working on our they can just, We're like, good. scrub yeah. each other's heads. Uh. And go, uh. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> I was like, there was a girl in the midst of all those boys in that that little clip that we saw earlier. And I was like, how did she? What? <laughs> she is brave. She's tough. She's, She's tough. a tough little thing. Yeah, absolutely. But we... First time I met you, I had reservations, but that's all I knew. That hearts were made for breaking, but you came in to love me and wouldn't let go. All it took was trusting, and now I know that you're my saving grace. Walked in my life at the perfect time and place And now I know I'm gonna be okay I feel safe cause you're never far away You taught me how to love me for always You're my saving grace I'll admit it, I couldn't trust a dreamer, but once a cynic, now I'm a believer. It took time to have faith to hear my heart, but once I saw the light, I felt that spark. You're my saving grace, you walked in my life at the perfect time, and place now i know i'm gonna be okay i feel safe cause you're never far away you taught me how to love me for always you're my saving grace Ooh, you're my saving grace Oh, I saw the light at the end of the tunnel Open my eyes, yeah, I saw the struggle I tried to fight, you stood by my side Yeah, I can't deny that you're my saving grace You walked in my life at the perfect time and place Now I know I'm gonna be okay I feel safe cause you're never far away you taught me how to love me for always. You're my saving grace. You're my saving grace. Woo! And the crowd goes wild. Woo! I got a yee-haw! Yee-haw! <laughs> 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 Um, I was up here on Saturday, July 16th over the weekend for the first annual Mala and 80s Dew pageant. <laughs> I got a little clip here that, that I put together dude is from fantastic. that. Yeah, I got a lot of, a lot of uh, young men that came out for that. I think there were six all together that participated in this first <laughs> Mala contest. Um, had a couple, couple wigs, but uh, the majority of them was all natural. <laughs> Here, here's the shake. They're shaking their mullets there. And they uh, also had them do a nice little uh, stroll on stage to kind of show off their uh, locks there. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I'm so glad they got people to participate because that is fantastic. Yeah, it was a fun little event. So here, uh, here was your winners. Uh, from the left, you had, um, that was your first place winner. That's Boone Sailor. Uh, second place is Alex Sharp. Third place went to Dustin Woodstone. And an honorable mention there to Jordan Pazzi. He's uh, number number four there in the <laughs> Mollet contest. And then in the 80s Dew contest, uh, we had two only two people sign up for that. Um, you got Heather Simpson there, first place with her 80s Dew. And Caitlin Williams, she uh, took second place there with her, uh, her uh, big, big hair as a 
as, as it is. <laughs> Can you tell everybody who you are? Hello, my name's Parker Osborne. I'm six years old, and I'm the little miss at the Jackson County Fair. For this year, huh? All right. I'm Jackson Swackhammer. I'm six years old, and I work, and I'm a little mister for the Jackson County Fair. Are you guys dating? No. Nope. Okay. We're cousins. The- <laughs> <laughs> All right. I could say something, but I'm not going to. Okay. How about you, sweetie? So, my name is Spencer Osborne, and I'm the Fair Hill Forest Fair the Jackson County Fair. Well, very good. Are you two sisters? Yep. No. Okay. Sisters. You're a sister, too, aren't you? No, I'm not. No, no, like they're sisters, and they're my cousin. Oh, and then you're their cousin. Are you the are you the cousin that annoys them? Yes. You're a perfect angel, aren't you? Does he annoy you? Kinda. <laughs> I'll bet he doesn't annoy you any more than Jamie Sexton does over there. Yep. He says that he's your favorite uncle. Is that true? Yes. Nope. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, trust me when I tell you. I got to grow up with that Jamie Sexton boy over there, and um, yeah, he is annoying. Yeah, I feel ya. <laughs> um, but that's okay. We love him. Oh, and what? if you would, introduce yourselves, please. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Nevaeh Hightower. I'm your fifth and sixth grade attendant for Jackson County Fair. Thank you. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Katie Elaine Ross, and I'm the seventh and eighth grade attendant. Hello, everyone. I am Rebecca Shaw, and I am the 2022 Jackson County Fair 9th and 10th grade attendant. Okay, very good. Now, are these the years that you're going into? Like the grades you're going into? I just Come finished in. out my sophomore year. At okay, High School. and I'm going into 8th grade. Okay. So. And I'm going into 7th. Okay, very good. So, what do you girls look forward to uh, in representing the Jackson County Fair this year? I'm looking forward to helping out helping with shows and also sharing my elements of the fair. Yeah. I'm looking forward to help getting more people involved into 4-H. Good job. Yeah, that's I'm great. I'm looking forward to just working shows and just doing all the stuff with my animals for shows. Yeah, very good. And, you know, I think that's funny that you all said working the shows because – Here's the deal, you know, a lot of queens you think about, they just put on pretty dresses and they go and wave in parades and, and whatever, but the fair, um, the fair court and, and royalty, you all work, work hard during the fair, and uh, it's pretty hard to, to keep those dresses clean, isn't it, <laughs> when you're working hard, but um, <clears throat> let's talk for a minute about your projects. What, what do you have going to the fair? I take chickens, and I also did gen- two general, no, three general projects. Oh, really? So that's interesting to me. So let's tell everybody a little bit about general projects. What does that mean? Because you think of the fair, and you think <clears throat> about just animals at the fair, but you don't necessarily think about the general projects, and, and there's a lot of them. So could you explain? There are, like like she said, there are a lot of general projects, and I, like I said, I did three of them. I did Design by Me, where I took my one of my jean jackets and put different designs on them. There's a cooking project where you make food for your judges to try. And then there's also ones that aren't um, self-determined. Okay. And for my self-determined project, I did a music one where I just demonstrated how I play my tuba. A tuba? Mm-hmm. You play the tuba? Yes. No, that's pretty cool. See, now you know. <laughs> that's really neat. And um, how did you learn how to play the tuba? I started off in trombone, and we had a student teacher who played tuba for like eight years, I think. Okay. And he taught us all the the keys to play different notes. And when I started off on trombone, we didn't play as low as notes, so I switched to tuba so I could learn how to play deeper notes. Gotcha. Good job. It has to be heavy. It is. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) To get some muscles for that, huh? (laughs) All right. And how about your projects? Um, I take market turkeys, and I am also taking market chickens. Okay. Thank God somebody takes turkeys, because this just blows my mind, these turkeys. 
How in the world do you get these ginormous turkeys to cooperate? I don't understand it. How do you do it? When they're younger, you have to make sure you play with them a lot so that then when they get older, you can walk them really easily. (laughs) They get huge, though. Like, it is crazy. If you have not gone to the fair and seen the turkey. I'm Shannon Dalton, the Community Programming Coordinator for the Gallia Jackson Meigs Alcohol, Drug Addiction, Mental Health Board. Uh, I have had the pleasure of working with Jackson County Sparks, the Substance Abuse Prevention and Addiction Resource Council along with the Jackson County Fair Board to bring the first ever Prevention Day program on Kids Day at the Jackson County Fair. And this year we actually themed it Kids Moving in the Right Direction. The whole intention behind this uh, day and this program is to reach out to our community, let them know that that we are here as resources, that we are here for our kids, that we care about our kids. And uh, this year we had the pleasure of being able to bring our West Virginia Batman out here with a fantastic message and of course we, we would not be without having any prevention day without our legendary rock and Reggie the drug-free prevention DJ so um, we started this back in Meigs County initially as a partnership with the Sheriff's Department uh, in Meigs County and the Adam H board and for four years it had been going on very well and we decided this year to bring it to Jackson County for the first time ever. So as a resident of Jackson County, I am proud and happy to bring this and hopefully keep this going for every year moving forward. So here we go, you ready? I'm gonna mix them up now. Always do the right. Oh, that's a little better right there. Never give. Help other people. All right, some of y'all aren't participating, grown-ups. I got you. I can see you. I'm watching. I'm watching. Always do the right. Never give. Help other people. To show you how important this message is, I want all the grown-ups just to imagine something for a second. Imagine you turned on the TV for one week. And for one week, the only thing that you saw on all the news channels were grown-ups doing these four things. What would the news look like? Wouldn't it be beautiful? That's how important this message is. If that's what you want, then we have to actually live what's being taught. Does this make sense? All right, now let me ask you some questions. Kids, is life going to be easy? No. Is life going to be fair? No. Is everybody in the world going to like you? No. Here's another one. Do you all think everybody likes Batman? Everybody say no. Everybody say no. Listen, no matter how much good I do, there's always someone out there that doesn't like me. Do you think I care? Not one bit. You know why? Because nobody's going to keep me from being awesome anymore. Because I was made awesome and I'm going to be awesome and that's all there is to it. And you're the same way. Kids, you're the same way. Every day you grow, every day you wake up, you look in the mirror and you say, I am awesome. Everybody say, I am awesome. Everybody say, it doesn't matter. What people think, it doesn't matter. What people say, it doesn't matter. What's on Facebook about me? The only thing that matters is that I wake up every day and see myself as God sees me. Woo, look at that. All right, well, we have moved over to the cattle barn. And who am I talking with? My name is Hayden Fleeman. Hayden, and you are so kind to talk with us. And uh, also boyfriend of Jen, I heard. Yes. <laughs> All right, and Hayden, who are we talking with here? This is Izzy. And Izzy is, um, shall we say, she's sassy. Yeah, she's very sassy. She doesn't like to stay in one spot for too long. So what kind of breed, what is Izzy? So Izzy is a cross between Maine Andrew and Angus. And you said that her breed is a little sassy. So the bull she's out of is called In God We Trust. And all the calves that we've ever had are always pretty, have a lot of attitude with them. But they all, they all have, they're all nice calves though, so. So I was looking at her compared to some of the other um, cows in the, in the whatever you call it, barn, I guess. What, she's really like, thick and chunky like is that what you're looking for for 
for a, a heifer like she is, yes. But for a beef feeder, you really want to look for something that's going to make either a nice cow later on or a nice uh, nice show calf. So. Okay, and what, what will you do to show her here at the fair? So today I've been washing her, but tomorrow I will get, I'll wash her again, and then what I do is I call it fitting her. It's just like any other guy you put. You put She's sassy. You put gel in your hair and you make yourself look good, and that's what I'll do to her tomorrow. She'll get her legs all puffed up, and yeah, but she likes to know what, what's going on at all times, so. She's, uh, is she spoiled maybe? Oh yeah, for sure. Well, why have them if we don't spoil them, right? That's right, that's right. So tell me about Izzy, what is she, you think she's got a chance to win things? Like, is she pretty good? For a beef feeder, uh, in a beef feeder aspect, no. But as a, uh, a replacement heifer, I think that she would make a good cow. Um, she has a nice frame on the backside, which is what you want for a, for a cow to have a calf, so. Okay, very good. And she is, um, so I was looking at her compared to some of the others too. She's a lot fluffier. Why is that? So that's the type of breed she is. Uh, we call it club calves. Um, the main Andrew, they always have the real fluffy hair, which her head has been shaved. So her head's kind of... Oh, hi, sweetie. Hi, Izzy. Her head, her head is shaved, but, and I've also clipped some of this up. Mm -hmm. But on, if you look on her back legs, the hair's about that long. Mm -hmm. So the main Andrew have a lot of fluffiness to them. She's super pretty, like like her hair and everything, so pretty. So what will you do in the show arena to show her? Like, what's the judge looking for? So the judge is looking for, uh, really, for a feeder. Like I said before, it's looking for, you know, what's going to make. Does it have the muscle mass? Does it have the frame? So he's going to be looking along her backside to see how wide is she. How is she going to fill out as she grows? How much muscle is she going to be able to pack on and to be either a cow or another show calf? So a cow would be like a, she would have babies, right? Right. And you want, you want a wider hip, a bigger pelvic bone, so that whenever they do have the calves, they don't break themselves doing it. Yeah, we don't want to break. We don't want to break Izzy. Well, she is really sassy, isn't she? But she's so pretty. So, all right. Um, so, what will will Izzy be sold, or what will she you do with her? Izzy will be sold here uh, to whoever. But um, I raised her as a beef feeder so that I could sell her in that market. Um, she would make a nice show calf to whoever does buy her. Um, but I also have rabbits too. So, yeah. All right, well, very good, and um, we appreciate you talking with us. All right, well, we have moved over to the uh, lamb barn, and, okay, this guy wants to talk. What's your name? Nephi. And Nephi, you said you just got out of the show arena, but you have your lamb up here in this thing, so uh, how did you do in the show? Good. Uh, did you, you see, you did showmanship, right? Yes. All right, and tell us, so your lamb is very talkative here. What is his name? Bull. Bull. Okay, and who's he talking to? Mm, other lambs. His lamb friends, huh? So why do you have Bull up here? You were telling me off the air. Um, you had like a like a uh, air. Yeah, blow dryer because we just have blow him out since he is our so we can get all the sawdust and wood chips on, off of him. Because when he was in the show arena, it's full of sawdust and it sticks to his fluffy legs, right? Yep. All right, so when you went in the show arena, what do you have to do with him? So we have to walk him around the ring a couple times, then go wow. set him up. And it's really hard because you have nothing to hold on to, right? Yeah, we hold on to their heads Why we do it. Does, does Bull ever take off on you? No. He sticks right with you? Sometimes, sometimes he gets ahead, and so I just throw him down. How do you do that? So what you should do is pull up their head and push back on him. And he listens to you? Yes. So that is so cool. How long have you had him? Um, yeah, a couple months or weeks. A couple months or weeks, gotcha. And then you'll go back in in a little bit um, and show again, right? Yep. And then that will be like the market class. So what does the judge look for that makes him good? So like all of the muscle and how good he sets up and all of that. 
And you teach him to do all that, right? Yes. And does he listen? Sometimes, sometimes not. I could see that. He does have a mind of his own, right? Yeah. All right. And um, so can you tell me who your parents are and what 4-H club you're in? Hi, buddy. I forget what the 4-H club is. Okay. So my dad is Ethan and my mom is Vicky. Very good. Well, I want to thank you so much for spending time, you and Bull, talking with us today. And I want to wish you the best of luck going into the market class in a little bit. Thank you. Thank you for talking with us, and it was wonderful to meet you guys. All right, well, we were heading over from the barn, and we ran into our good friend Matt McKee here oh, yeah. in, in uh, the face of the radio. I never get to see you guys because you guys are always in the studio when I'm I know. On the air, what so. happened. We need to hang out more often. We do, we do. <laughs> but you are here with your lovely girls. So can Hi, girls. So uh, tell us a little bit about, about these girls. Now, you two are twins, right? Nope. Yeah. These two are actually yeah. the twins, yeah. So. Yeah. This is Meredith. This is, yeah, this is the old, you couldn't tell. This is the oldest. This is Maddie Lynn. Say hi. Hello. And Meredith. Hi. And Mariana. Hello. They're not shy, camera shy at No, all, so. not, they are definitely your daughters. <laughs> definitely your daughters. So you guys are here actually eating, which is fantastic. So what has been your favorite thing that you've eaten here at the fair? Corn dog. Um, probably the nachos. Corn dog. Definitely showing my dairy goat. No. You ate your you, 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 oh. you <laughs> ate your dairy goat already? <laughs> Loaded nachos. That nachos. comes later. That's why right. they're out here today. So. Yes, that's right. No, and so you girls are showing let's see, you two are showing a goat, right? And then all three of you are, are same goat or different goat? Goes. I'm showing two and they're showing twins. We're showing twins. So the twins are showing twins. twins How funny. The names are Riley, Roxy, Raven, and Rosie. That's a lot of R's to remember. Yeah, and a lot of M's to remember. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, very good. What's been your favorite part of the fair so far? Rides. Goats. Rides. No, animals. Animals. Yeah. All animals. Just animals in general. Yeah. So uh, what are your favorite rides? Probably, um, I don't actually know. Probably all of them. Hog drop. The hog drop? Is that a ride? I have not ridden it. Oh. I think we used to call it a Rocco plane. Oh, the Rocco plane. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, those, those are little, my favorite. The little missile thing. Yeah, yeah, and it spin around. Yeah, Rocco plane. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, I remember. Okay, okay. And what is your favorite animal here? <laughs> Horses. Me too. Because I grew up with them. You love your goats. Yes. So, Matt, have you been having fun out here? Hey, it's been a great week so far. We've been having yeah. fun out here. Porter's, Porter actually snuck out again this morning. He left me in the studio, and he goes, I'm out here at the fair. I'm going to do live broadcast. Yeah. I heard the fair again. So. No, you know why he wants to come out here, right? He goes over to the FFA booth yeah, and gets free food. Yeah, he goes and eats. Yeah. That's exactly what he does. He comes here and he gets breakfast every morning. Well, that's why a lot of people come <laughs> to the fair as well. I mean, I already had... I just finished up my lunch. I had a ribeye sandwich from the Cattlemen's Association. Oh, they're so good. They're good. They really are good. Of course, the 4-H booth is set up, the FFA booth. And that's just down here, the show right. bar. And yeah, that's... and then you have all the kind of like the carnival yeah, sti yeah. style food up on the midway. So you can yeah, stop and check out that. Yeah, my this week. There's no Oh, no just forget it. Yeah, <laughs> heard. Same thing. All right. Well, girls, um, good luck to you showing your goats at the fair this week. Of course, and thank you for talking with us. Hey, thanks us. for stopping by. Yeah. Come by and see everybody. Come out and support all the youth and young, young adults who've worked hard this year with 4-H and everything else. So. Exactly. Yeah, you can say bye, I guess. Bye. Bridge runners. <laughs> That's their 4 Shout out stuff. to the bridge runners. <laughs> bye. Let's <laughs> talk to the mouthful. I taught them well. <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> Yay. Well, what a fun, fun trip to this year's Jackson County Fair. We hope that you've enjoyed it. I uh, want to thank all the kids for taking time out of their busy days to uh, show us their projects, to talk to us a little bit about some of the fun things that they're doing this week. Uh, of course, the royalty stopped by, so that was wonderful. And uh, we just hope that everybody comes out, supports the kids at this year's fair. Lots and lots of entertainment. Um, we still have the demolition derby. We have all kind of fun things coming up. So make sure that you stop out at this year's Jackson County Fair. Only $10 to get in. That gets you in the gate. It gets you all of the grandstand entertainment 
equipment and ad admission and, and rides and all of that stuff. So come on out to this year's fair. Great food, great fun, and supporting the kids, of course, most importantly. So thank you so much for tuning in, and we're going to head back. This just in. The Telegram News has a new website. TheTelegramNews.com Same dedicated coverage. Same trustworthy news with a brand new look. Covering Jackson and Benton County and surrounding areas. Locally owned and operated, TheTelegramNews.com has its finger on the pulse of the community. Stay up to date on local events, high school sports, and breaking news. TheTelegramNews.com Subscribe today at TheTelegramNews.com Check it out.